As a tradition now at ISB World Conferences, I'm pleased to share a few highlights with you, usually updates from our industry, but this time it will be a little bit uh, different because we have lots of content that will reach your screens in the next uh, three days. And I have made it just my little mission to share with you a bit of what's ahead for you to pick your favorites and also to make it easy to decide what content you would like to catch up on. Uh, you have on-demand viewing on this platform for two months uh, after the conference. And I do at the same time hope that you have booked a little bit of time in your calendars uh, the next days, because it is obviously more engaging to also join the live streaming sessions. That's where you can connect with the speakers. You can ask uh, questions in the live Q&A, and you can also join uh, the networking. And Talking about networking and, and connecting with each other, that's where I would just like to start by welcoming our new members, because many of them, they will be with us here at ISP Virtual. So as at every ISP conference, do take the opportunity to say hello in the networking or reach out to them also uh, in the chat. Actually, uh, since uh, last year's conference uh, in Nantes, we have uh, the pleasure of welcoming 26 new uh, member organizations uh, from around the world. You can see them all here on our world map and a warm welcome to all of them. And talking about networking, we have uh, with us our MC, Lars uh, Sørensen. You met him in the opening and he will be with us on this whole journey of our virtual conference. And uh, for the networking, I have um, a, a must do recommendation to you because seeing each other is of course something we are all missing. And we do have uh, this time a platform for you. It's called the uh, Gatherly. And we have uh, three dedicated sessions. You have here the, the date and the time. That's where we just click on a link here on the platform. We go together in a, in a different space where you can say hello on camera, talk in smaller groups. And I think you can even take an elevator, go to a different floor to meet uh, new people. So let's try uh, that out together. And also on the platform, you actually have what we call uh, a delegate lounge. You can see it here from the lobby. You can click on the board there, or you can use our floor map, which is uh, just an overview that makes it easy for you to navigate uh, our space. So you can access there. And if we jump to the content, that's where you have the auditorium and you have the grand hall. You can connect directly from there when every session is about to start. Or in the lobby, you also have um, the label that says timetable. There you can see all the sessions, the hour of every session and, and when they are coming up. And uh, for the next three days, we have really a lot of different content and formats. Uh, we have discussions uh, from peers in the network uh, really brought to you from innovation ecosystems around the world. We will have uh, sessions with individual presentations and live Q&A and also panel discussions where you can engage in the chat or you can go to the lounge, click on a speaker and also ask uh, some additional questions there. And then also in a, in a fireside chat format, we will also hear from uh, experts. They will join you on topics on sustainability, city engagement, uh, finance and startups, artificial intelligence and, and other topics. And then of course, we cannot travel in person this year. We, we do miss seeing each other, but we have this uh, fantastic opportunity of traveling the world virtually. We will have uh, seven uh, sessions, our regional divisions. Uh, they will bring to you content panel discussions uh, led uh, by uh, people from the regions. And you can also have um, an, an opportunity to get to know your peers in uh, what we call quick fire interviews. That's uh, like uh, in a fast paced mode. Uh, and, and also some conversations where I connect directly to Adelaide and uh, to Boston. We have, as I said, the networking uh, moments. There also will be a lot of smaller breaks and that's where we have our MC with us also for quizzes and, and polls and, and different uh, activities to, to simply engage, relax and recharge uh, our batteries. And last but not least, the ISP conference, we also showcase some of the companies from our innovation uh, community. We have two sessions for that. You will, uh, on the 2nd of December, be able to hear some pandemic uh, pivot 
And you have also startups joining on the 3rd of December with some global uh, company stories. And you can also see a little bit more from the startups in, in what we call here the startup zone. And we also have an exhibition. That's where I would also recommend you to drop by as at every ISP conference, you get a chance to say hello to the ISP team. And of course, also to our other exhibitors uh, where you can request a video call with them. You can view the content and simply get inspired. And talking about inspiration, that's also where I would like to really warmly thank our knowledge partner. We have with us at this conference, uh, IE University. You already met the opening keynote. We heard from Lee Newman, and they will have other experts with us in sessions on the future of work, sustainability, and also the closing keynote where we will be with uh, Professor Van Damme. And inspiration, well, that's something we all need. It's flowing to us also from the network. We have, as you know, our Inspiring Solutions uh, program. That's a knowledge sharing initiative. It's already our seventh uh, edition and really is a way to get inspiration uh, from solutions implemented by uh, peers in the network. And we have this year uh, 10 solutions that made the cut. And it is actually you, the, the delegates, who will help us reach who will be the three winners of this year's uh, program. To do that, well, I will not take you through all the inspiring solutions uh, just now. I would rather recommend you to go to a dedicated space. It's created especially for this on our platform. You just go to the lobby and by accessing this area, you will see a whole display of the 10 solutions and some nice videos they have prepared for you to see what is it that they are working on. Take a look and cast your vote. You actually have uh, two opportunities to do so because we will have uh, two rounds of voting First, uh, there is the vote after, after a visit to the different solutions. And then on December 3rd at 3.30, we reconnect all of us in a live session. And that's where you will have a final vote and help us see who will be first place, second place, and third place of this year's uh, Inspiring Solution Awards. So we look forward to that. And I think with all this and all the content that you will have really available and, and to tap into over the coming days, we will keep growing together. And uh, I also just would like to remind you to redeem your ISP uh, tree. It's a delegate gift uh, to all of you. And we are actually talking real trees here. They will be planted in the ISP forest. It's uh, geolocated, so you can follow your little tree as it uh, grows. And it is something that helps us support the SDGs and also to green the planet together. And let me with this uh, hand over back to our MC to continue the conference. I do wish you a very good experience. I hope you will enjoy it. So take care everyone and uh, thank you.